Hi everyone. So, most of you know about the trench that I have in my garden. If you're new to the channel, I have a trench that I've made myself in the garden. Sometimes we spend the night there in German uniform or in American uniform. So, that's already crazy. A trench with machine guns and everything in your garden. But just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, I decided to make a World War II bunker right next to the trench. This was an insane project. I've never done something crazy like that before. I mean, a trench is already insane, but a bunker right next to it, okay, that's just, that's, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what the neighbors are thinking, but pretty strange. A couple weeks of hard work, working almost every single day on the bunker. I've never built anything before like that, so it was the first time for me actually building something like that. But uh, I have to say that I'm very happy with the result. So like I said, it was a lot of work, uh, also pretty expensive, but it's definitely worth it. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna travel back in time and show you the start of building the bunker. Enjoy the video. All right, so this is gonna be the spot. Um, first, we have to remove all this stuff. Maybe sure to make this straight. We go from there. But first, uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna remove all this stuff and make it clean because there's still a lot of stuff laying around from other videos and stuff. Still shell casings everywhere, as you can see. If you look around here. <laughs> so the back is gonna be right here. That's the plan. And um, we'll look out on the trench I think that will be very cool. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to start. Such a weird situation. Everyone has to take part. I don't even need this. But yeah. Something funny we were making this flat yesterday and I discovered something here because I cut my finger of course again because I'm always getting wounded in every single video <laughs> I cut myself on a can these cans and uh, it's funny because uh, this is a small dump hole from a video a while back when we were cooking stuff here and uh, yeah I forgot about it it was right there so that's the same thing that would happen in World War II stuff like that so <laughs> Pretty funny to find that but now we have to uh, make this flat because tomorrow they will be delivering 1600 stones we have to start working right now it smells like german helmet decals okay so a very historical moment the first stone. Oh yeah, so this is gonna be the floor. Uh, there's gonna be a platform. After that, we will place the bricks on it, and so on and so on. But this is the first stone, but we're gonna need a lot more sand. The stores are gonna close pretty fast because uh, of the virus and stuff. So yeah, gonna continue working right now, but this is the first stone. These are just a couple bags here, but we all have to carry them here by hand and they're wet, so it's extra heavy. All right, so half of it is done right now. 
Um, so we have to do the exact same thing again right now. <laughs> so we first have to fill it up with sand and stuff uh, to make it straight because uh, the ground is going like this here because of digging foxholes and trenches and stuff like that. So yeah, this is what we first have to do. Fill it up with sand and um, we have to buy a lot more sand probably tomorrow. See how far we can get right now and uh, hope for the best. Historical moment. The last tile off the floor. Let's do it. A little more sand. This feels okay. Perfect. Oops. It's done. Well, the floor. So, we officially have the platform of the bunker ready. This is not what the inside of the bunker is gonna look like, but this is just a platform. As you can see right here, it's a lot higher than the actual ground. So tomorrow, they will be delivering 1600 bricks. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Probably won't be able to start on the wall tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. Just look at this floor. It's like I'm walking on a beach or something. Well, you know, not the beach itself, of course, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But nope, this is gonna be the floor for a bunker. <laughs> this is insane. So went to the store today again and uh, bought a lot of cement. Early this morning, a truck delivered 1600 bricks <laughs> and someone asked, hey, what are you gonna build? And I was like, a bunker. So yeah, pretty strange. The chickens are sabotaging my project. <laughs> All right, so I got matching knee pads, as you can see, uh, cement, and um, no mask because they're all sold because of the virus again. There we go. <gasps> Oops. There we go. Starting to look good. This one is actually too big, but they were all sold out the right size. So everyone is working right now. Well, because no one is working anymore, everyone, yeah, you know what I mean. All right, so this is gonna be the first stone and I never made a wall before in my whole entire life. So don't judge me. <laughs> okay. I think that might be all right. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a professional in this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's, that's definitely too much. But if we just, wiggle it around and just take that away. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it looks okay. I think that's okay. I think that's fine, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that's the first stone, guys. Historical moment. All right, so this is what we got so far. I hope it's okay. Um, but now we have this. So it has to be a very small piece of stone that we're gonna need. Only like this big, so I don't know if this is gonna work at all. Never done this before, like I said, but yeah. I think like like that is what we need, so. <laughs> I don't know. This is not This is not the right size. But it doesn't matter, actually, because I can just hammer it down until it's big enough or small enough, so. Just chipping it off like. Don't say anything. A nice new day. We're continuing on this uh, small brick wall. Well, it's actually gonna be a big brick wall. <laughs> But this is all we got so far. And we're gonna build it up. And the door is gonna be over here. Okay, so this is already empty as you can see. So we need to make some new stuff. But 
is what we got so far. It's looking pretty good. We use a small piece of stone right there for the corner. So that's drying right now. But it's all nice and solid. All right, it's going very well. Um, as you can see, we got another layer of bricks. We have to make new stuff again. The door is gonna be over here. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh man, it's gonna take a long time before it's done, but when it's done, it's gonna be so cool. forgot to show you my wonderful and high-tech creation <laughs> to keep this stone in place well it works all right so it's getting dark right now so we're gonna call it the day but this is a result for today and I'm actually really happy you see the door already a little bit right here this is gonna be the door um, well it's time to go inside and uh, tomorrow we will continue our work a new day working on the bunker. It's looking like a real wall right now. Well, not a tall wall, but <laughs> you get the idea. I'm working on this corner right now. It's starting to look like something. Okay, guys, this is the result of today. It was getting too dark right now, so we had to stop. We actually wanted to continue tomorrow, but tomorrow it's probably gonna rain, which is gonna be a problem. But uh, I really hope I can work again on this soon. Um, I heard that it's gonna rain the whole week, but I really hope it's gonna change because I really wanna uh, work as fast as possible because I wanna have this done. I want this to be finished. I can't wait. It sure is a lot of work, but this is insane. It looks small on the camera, but it's, it's not really small at all. All the birds are like, what is going on here? What is he making now? Hey Susie, what do you think about this whole situation? We should like a bunker in the garden? All right, so yesterday we couldn't work on the bunker because of heavy rain. Right now I'm gonna get some stones and we are going to continue. We made this for in case it's gonna rain again and uh, so we can just continue working. All right, so what we've done right now is this whole row. I started here and get this whole row done. Um, so that row and that row. Now we're gonna eat because it's pretty late. We started pretty late today, so yeah, we do not have a lot of time to work on this today. A new day, building on the bunker. It's all looking very nice and solid. It's going very quick. We already got this whole row and um, I'm starting a new row already. We're running out of supplies. This is the last stone, so we need to get some new stones. But we have a problem because the tire of our wheelbarrow is flat. Yeah, it's a pretty big problem because it's not easy uh, to get all these stones here without a wheelbarrow. They're very heavy and uh, yeah, we just have a problem right now. All right, so we're carrying less stones right now. We can pump the tire up and it's deflating very slowly again, but um, we're just not carrying that much anymore. So we have to do it like that. It suddenly started to rain, so I decided to, uh, <laughs> to do this and it's working pretty good right now, but it stopped raining. Oh, wow. Right in time, it's raining pretty hard. All right, so one of the bags definitely got wet, as you can see. <laughs> we can't really use that. So we have to fill bags with stones and carry them over here, which is a lot of work, of course, because it's all the way in the garden and the stones are in front of the house, so yeah.
All right, it's time to eat something right now. And after that, we will continue. Just someone from the Reichsarbeitsdienst who couldn't resist doing this. As you can hear, it's raining right now again. And it's getting worse. Yeah, it's definitely getting worse. It's getting dark, really dark. This is gonna be insane. We're gonna make a lot of videos here. And um, of course, we will be spending the night in this bunker as well. I mean, we have to do that. A new day working on Project Bunker. <laughs> we already got this road done. I'm right here at the moment. We need some new stones again. We stopped the project for two days because of heavy rain. But today we started again and hopefully we get a couple roads today done. All right, that's it for today again. We're almost at the window, so maybe tomorrow? I don't know. This wall is pretty high right now. Look at this. If we go inside, I can show you. It's like this tall right now, so. Can you imagine just having a machine gun right here and seeing the trench? I'm not gonna make it a tall door. I really wanna make it a small bunker door. It's time to leave. And we will be back here tomorrow again. All right, finally, we are at the level where the window is gonna be. I'm gonna make some kind of pillar here so we can place the MG right there and we have a view over the trench. Okay, so right here, this is gonna be the window. Well, not this, not these holes, but this is just to uh, keep them straight and uh, so they won't fall. Tomorrow, we will do the rest. It's drying right now, perfectly straight. That's it for today again. We're gonna continue tomorrow. A new day working on the bunker. I've been measuring this and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make a wall so it's gonna be thicker. All right, this is what I got so far. The second bucket is already empty. This has been done as well. And I'm now busy on the other side here. It's going pretty fast. So I have to go up there. So here we are again. Um, it's a little bit late already because we had some other stuff to do. But right now the plan is to place the window. You can see the blocks are perfect. This is gonna be our MG window and it's gonna look very, very cool. So if we go inside here, you see this, but it's not gonna stay like this. We're gonna fill this up. So you won't have this on the inside, only on the outside. All right, so the blocks are placed and removed a couple of these because uh, you don't want these to be in your way. By the way, guys, how do you like my phone case? Just sprayed in Normandy camouflage today and there's even a decal right there underneath the camouflage. getting dark right now. This is what we've just made. A small wall also on this side right here. Tomorrow we will continue again. Really starting to look like a bunker window. And of course the final touch will be the concrete.
Okay, our work is done for today. We're gonna quit. Look who we have here. Uh, what's your opinion about this? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, this is the first time Mark is seeing uh, the bunker in progress. Yeah, in real life. Do you like it so far? Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> you can't wait until it's done. A, a night in this bunker. Yeah, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna do that, and not once. No, but it's huge. Yeah, it's no, big. It's, 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 it's a lot bigger than on camera, because, yeah, that's enough space for a couple people inside. Hello, Kamerad. Wie geht's? Good. Sehr gut. So this is gonna be the MG window. That's enough room for the barrel to move in both directions. And so this is gonna be filled up with stones and concrete and stuff. So now you can see how big it is with Mark in there. Hello Fritz. Hello. Uh, Vinant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is insane. This is the craziest project I've ever done. Don't you think? Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I mean, the trench is already insane, but a bunker right next to the trench, it's not really normal, is it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Welcome in my garden. Welcome in my garden. This is my private bunker and trench. Alright, so I haven't filmed for a couple days. That's because it was all the same over and over again. But yesterday we had to remove some branches. There was one big branch over here that was a problem. Here you can see it right next to the wall. And now let me show you what the bunker looks like at this moment. Oh yeah, we officially have a window. It's all very nice and solid. This edge right here is perfect for ammo storage or maybe uh, personal items. We can mount the MG right here and we have this view. We can move to the right and we can move to the left without any problems. Here we go again. Get the stuff in the back. All right, so yesterday we got some more supplies uh, for the roof and also for the door. Let me show you what the door looks like right now. It's a very thick piece of concrete right there and uh, it's gonna be a pretty small door, typical for a bunker. I bought some hooks. I placed them right there, right there and right there. We can use that for communication wire, radios and um, maybe for just hanging our jackets, helmets and stuff. Also, I bumped my head extremely hard against this thick piece of concrete, so hard that it actually moved. So, yes, I decided to wear a German helmet. So, this is a couple days later. This right here is the final stone. It was placed yesterday. So, all the bricks are in place now. Also, the wood is in place. It's been sawed in the right size. On top of this, we will make the roof. What we want to do is we want to apply concrete on the wall. Okay, so this is starting to look very, very cool. Look at this. So first uh, we bought the wrong stuff, um, so we had to get new stuff and now we definitely have the right. Um, as you can see, it's really looking like a bunker wall right now. Of course, first we have to mix all this stuff, so it's a lot of work, <laughs> it really is. But after that, we're applying it to the wall, uh, which is also a lot of work and it's hard work as well, uh, especially when you've never done something like that before, but it's, it's, starting to look really really cool what we're doing after it's applied we're just making it flat a little bit not too flat then a brush just go like that so you can see all these small stones i actually like this right there because i've seen this many times in real bunkers um so that's cool to see this is <laughs> it really feels like a bunker wall as well also, my normal jacket that I was wearing uh, and my cap was getting very dirty. So I decided to just wear the uh, correct uniform for the right job. I mean, we're building a German bunker, so why not? And at the same time, my uniform is getting dirty, uh, so it's gonna look historically correct. We're now working on this part. It really is a lot of work. It's taking a lot of time, especially all these corners and stuff like that. And the wood, of course, we're slowly getting there. Alright, 
so, like I explained earlier, my other jacket was getting dirty and my cap was getting dirty. So I'm just using this German jacket and German cap as work clothing. So just to show you how much work it is, if you want to uh, have your tunic dirty, uh, I advise you to use cement and stuff like that. It works very nice. Um, yeah, okay, so this is what I'm doing all the time. And when that's done, we go do it over and over again. And the most fun part is when it's drying a little bit uh, to brush it off. I'm gonna show you that later. All right, so like I said, the most fun part is to make it even, sort of, and brush it off. First, what I wanted to do was uh, actually push with planks against the wall, because a lot of times you see with the uh, German bunkers that they just port the concrete inside, uh, let it dry, and you saw all the stripes, you could see where the planks were. So that's very cool to see, but not all bunkers had that. A lot of bunkers actually were made from bricks, so this is historically correct, um, which I like. Uh, but like I said, let's get to the fun part. Doing this, just going over with your hand, and you see all the stuff is disappearing. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. Looks very strange. Light blue gloves, green German uniform, makes no sense at all. Okay, uh, let me just go this part here, and look, we do this. You can see all these stones, the small stones and the bigger stones. You see that? That's a typical bunker look that you have there. And there were so many different types of bunkers. I mean, stuff that they just made on the locations where they need them. You know, it just sometimes they just used the stones that they could find, use some cement and stuff, some concrete, and they just made whatever they could. All right, so this is what we've just done. And I have to say it looks very nice, especially when it's dry. Right now we're gonna eat something because it's very late and I'm extremely hungry. But just take a look at this side. It's like a real bunker door. Of course you can still see the stones, but we also have to do the outside and everything still. And look at this window, isn't it awesome? I really like this shape here. See that? Looks pretty cool. Ouch! We also have to do all these layers, which is gonna be- Ooh! Like I said, we also have to do these layers, which is going to be a lot of work. Uh, and uh, the roof, of course. We can search for something here. There should be a date. Yeah, there we go. 1942. You see that? I love these small details. You see stuff like this a lot. Just done by the people who are working on the bunker. And also on this side, I really like this. Right here on the front, 1942. And we take a look right here. You can see some hop nails right there. Also typical. All right, a new day. And this right here is the work we've done yesterday. And I really like these hooks. So look at the door right now. We still have to work in all these small holes and stuff. But this is just uh, the rough work. This for the bipod from the MG. And today, we're gonna work on the roof, or try to place the roof. Uh, hopefully it's gonna go the right way. Okay, so the construction of the roof, this is gonna be from wood. On top is gonna be concrete, of course. First, we're gonna saw it in the right size, and we will attach it with screws, and then uh, bitumen to keep the water outside. Also, real bunkers had that. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. As you can see, the trench behind me, I have to clean that up. Not right now, of course, that's gonna be another project after this project, but right now, let me show you the result of today. Right behind me, right there. Oh yeah, take a look at this. Isn't that insane? Just like I'm exploring a real World War II bunker. You know, the feeling that you approach it very slowly. You take a look inside to see if there are not strange people doing stuff in there. You're surprised that it's open. Touch it with your hand and you feel the cold concrete. You go around the corner and you enter and you hear this sound. Typical bunker sound. 
Of course, we still need the concrete right there on the roof. I'm gonna make this wood dark color, place some hooks right there so we can uh, hang an oil lamp right there. Still need concrete on the floor. It's definitely still not done yet completely, but most of the work is done and I am very happy with the result. Even the sound is correct. <laughs> Bye for now, Bunker. See you tomorrow. So, as you can see, this is where we stopped yesterday. The weather is perfect for our work to continue again. So, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this side has been done. It's still wet, so it looks strange. Now, we've been busy on this side. Let me get through this. Ooh, not a lot of space. Ow! I have to get rid of that. Here you can see the door. I really love the look of this as well. You see the bubbles in the paint. So yeah, the door looks uh, absolutely perfect right now. Officially standing in my own bunker. This is insane. This chicken is so funny. She's following you everywhere. You like the bunker? All right, finally, all the sides, including the rooftop, now have concrete on it. This is a very exciting moment. There's no way you could tell this is not a bunker if you're just looking at it like that. I mean, it's just, it has the perfect look. I'm really, really happy with the result. Um, like I said, still not ready. Uh, we have to work on these corners and stuff on the inside, of course. Um, also here on the roof, we have to do a couple things. But we're gonna do that tomorrow, not today anymore. You can still see the color difference, of course, because that's still a little bit wet. This has been removed. So we can just go here, it's still pretty tight, but we can go through this, squeezing my way through it. It was a lot of work applying all this concrete stuff here. Not enough space here. That's perfect. <laughs> we still need to pour some concrete on the floor. And of course, we need to work on this still. We don't wanna see this wood, of course. We wanna see concrete right there. I can just feel the wind coming through right now. Um, I'm gonna make the inside of the bunker white. You see that a lot of times in original bunkers. It's pretty dark with this color, so it will be easy to see stuff, and uh, I think it just looks very cool. Um, like I said, you see that a lot of times in the original bunkers. And uh, maybe text on the wall, find your meat, or something like that. Or rauchen verboten. For me that's not a problem, because I don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna make the inside white. Alright, so uh, we mixed the paint with some water. A lot of water. To make it very wet, so it will be easy to paint. We don't want it to be very nice and pretty, we just want it to do it like this wall, wall, wall. Because we don't care. It's not a house, it's a bunker. It's gonna take a while before this is done. <laughs> but uh, I can assure you it's gonna look awesome when it's done. Again, I'm saying it again. Such a crazy project this. We can go to Normandy on vacation, you just take Normandy to here. All we're missing is sand. Hmm. Maybe buy some bags of sand as well. Paint smells very strange. It smells like cookies or something, or ice cream. It's really weird. But I enjoy the smell though. Oh, we're almost done, guys. Oh man, this is a lot of work. My fingers are hurting. This looks so extremely cool. I will show you it in a minute when this is done. Finally, it's done. Let me show you the result. Look at this. This is just the exact same color as the real bunkers. Look at it. It's perfect. You can see a little bit of gray right there. Look at the door. It's perfect. If all the stuff is right here, the MG boxes and everything, and you make a picture, you just wouldn't see the difference with our original one. And um, this is not with this color, these are stones. You can see all the small stones and stuff right there. I still have to paint this white. We've got a couple layers of different stuff. Also, these are now brown color. It looks very nice. They still look too new, but 
it's normal that it looks new because back in World War II it was new as well. So we don't want it to be rusty and old and everything, we want it to be new. Today we are exploring a World War II bunker. Oh no, we're not, we're actually in my garden. The feel, the sound, just, it's a bunker. <laughs> it's a bunker. Finally, everything is done. Well, except the floor and a few other things. But um, the walls are white, as you can see right now. The bunker is almost ready for action. I really like the look of these walls. Look at that white paint, just exactly like the original bunkers. And the color difference, and the small spots with the holes, it's just all perfect. What we have to do right now is we're gonna do the floor, we're gonna pour some concrete on the floor, and yeah, then it's basically done. Then we go outside and show you the bunker from outside again. So amazing. Don't eat the paint. Get out of the way. Just some leftover concrete right there. So decided to put some hobnails in there. Use some German shoot. What are you doing? It's pretty cool to see. What the Oh no. Chicken. Oh. Well it's historically correct. Right? I mean, yeah, definitely historically correct, but it's not really leaving marks. It's too hard already. Alright, here we go. The floor. I guess we're just gonna spread it with a piece of wood. First one I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in every single corner. Oh, finally. After a lot of work, it's done. Sort of. <laughs> we still have to, uh, well, I call it fine tune. Some of the stuff, maybe text on the wall, and uh, yeah, just some small things that we need to do. But as you can see, the floor is in there, sort of. Of course, it has to dry. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cover up the door because we don't want the chickens to go inside. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then we'll call it the day. We will be back here tomorrow and take a look at our work. sticking out of that window or MG34 or whatever machine gun, maybe Mother K90 AK, whatever. But we're gonna save that for another video. Of course, I still need a table, maybe some text on the wall, MG boxes in the corner. I uh, still wanna make a wooden plank right here for the ammo and for the MG to stand on. And just personal equipment, radio, blah, 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 stuff like that. But this video was pure about making the bunker. So, the project is officially finished right now, and I really hope you guys like it too. Like I said before, it was a lot of work, a couple of weeks of hard work, um, and it also was not really cheap. I've been spending quite some money on this bunker, but it's definitely worth it. Thank you guys for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and subscribe if you want to see more videos and more bunker videos, of course, because I can assure you there are gonna be a lot of bunker videos in the future. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day. I'm gonna enjoy some time in my bunker. Oh yeah. <laughs>